Hello my friends, it's uh, early July and very hot day, we got a heat warning today, it's over 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, <clears throat> you see bees out on here like this, you see lots of videos going, oh my bees are swarming or this or that, right? This high has been split, doesn't mean it won't need to be split again, but chances are they're only uh, gathered up like this to have less bees inside because of the heat. This hive has a huge population. I've already taken a box of honey off and I'm out here. Let's see if I can get the honey boxes in frame. I'm just out here uh, take a look inside, make sure they aren't going to swarm because this is this is my best queen here, and she's produced uh, awesome, uh, awesome hard-working bees. I got a lot of honey last year, and I've already taken a box this year, and probably another one today. So I got another box out here, right there, of empty frames. They're just plastic frames. They have some wax on them, but no comb. So I'll put the virgin frames in the hive to give them a little more room and something to do but yeah I see your bees out on a hot day it's also overcast so navigation may be an issue there can be lots of factors uh, to have your bees all balled up bearding like this uh, it's not necessarily a uh, Warm, ready to go, or anything you should be uh, too scared of, but it's also something you can't ignore. So I'm gonna open her up, see what's going on, and yeah, either be up at the house with some honey, or I'll show you what's going on inside the hive here. All right, I've opened it up, taken off the newest honey box. The box that's on there is a deep. It's a honey super. It is almost full and capped but uh, it's not uh, at the point where I will take it today and the rest of the hive looks fine and all this bearding and all the bees outside it's just a hot day I enjoy sitting out on the porch as much as anyone I suppose it's too hot in the house right so what I'm gonna do so I just have my other honey super Pulled apart to see pro progress of the bees. They are making uh, these were virgin frames, so we've drawn them out with wax, and they have that almost filled in with honey. So I will be putting on this box today, another box of virgin frames, but I'll be pulling it off again and removing this deep that's on top there. Probably in two days from now. There's going to be rain for a couple of days. So I'm just going to put this empty box of virgin frames on to give them a little more space and uh, have maybe help with the ventilation a bit. I don't know if that will, but uh, it is definitely more space. And I'm going to put my honey supers back together and deal with it in a couple of days from now. But I do have a honey super up at the house that I need to empty because, as you can see here, my bees are going crazy, collecting lots of nectar. So I got to empty the frames, extract the honey from the frames, and uh, bring the empty frames back down here to get them all one of these colonies to get some more honey. So it looks like it's going to be a good summer. It's already just early July, and I have honey in my extractor and more ready to come in the house here in the next few days. So I'll take it up to the house and show you what I got going on. And here's a close-up look inside my extractor. These are the first frames I've extracted. I already got quite a bit of honey down there. I don't know how good the lighting is in here. Yeah, just uh, slip the frames in. You know, spin around, right? The hand crank. And uh, the honey flies out. And then collects down in the bottom. And let it out. Spout, fill up some jars, and uh, 
Yeah, that's where those of you get honey from me, that's where it comes from. And again, this is uh, early July, and I'll be uh, taking the honey out of these frames and then replacing them back into the colonies to be filled up again. <clears throat> Drawn comb is like gold for the beekeeper. All the bees have to do is fill it in with some honey or some nectar. But yeah, that's all I'm doing here. I'm just uh, taking the uh, full frames of honey. This is the capped honey. And then I got my bucket and my uncapping tool. So I just uh, sit it here, scrape that off into the bucket, toss it in here, spin it around, and there you go, you got honey. But yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this. Maybe I'll set up the camera and show you how I'm scraping it and extracting these last four frames. But uh, yeah, whatever I'm doing, I got to do it quick because... Uh, my bees need room and they need comb to fill in with nectar. We're going into the main flow here early July in you know, northern north central Alberta. So it's going to be a great season. I'm already getting honey. It's the first time for me, you know, besides a frame or two. I'm getting full boxes of honey. I got another deep box honey super ready to come off. And I haven't even checked my other honey producing colony and my splits are looking good everything's looking good so let me get this done and I'll get you all some honey yes yeah, so I just do a real simple extraction method here it didn't cost me much money at all I got a five gallon bucket food grade plastic of course everything I use I use a star sand sanitizer which uh, any of you make wine at home we'll know what that is but it's a food safe acid sanitizer clean surfaces so you don't get uh, bacterial or fungal infections right so uh, all my equipment has been sanitized before I uh, <clears throat> do any honey with it but I just have this uh, small little platform thing here that attaches to the five gallon bucket and has uh, holes for uh, the large frames and the short frames so you can sit them in there and they pretty much stand on their own they won't really unless your house is perfectly level but um, <clears throat> to extract I'm just using one of these I don't use a knife or anything I find this takes off uh, the least amount of wax and leaves the most honey in the frame but the idea is I'm just going just beneath the cappings and then lifting them out and get quicker as your technique improves but uh, yeah, it's real simple and of course the cappings and any drippings go into the bucket and to wash my cappings so that I can use the wax and to reclaim the uh, honey that goes into the bucket which isn't much I'm just gonna pour a gallon of spring water into the bucket, filter out the wax and use the water that will then be uh, full of honey to make some mead. Yes. The dog thinks I'm talking to it maybe. So anyways that's all there is to it and that exposes the honey and now when I put it in the extractor all that honey is going to fly out which is the next step. But uh, I'll finish this and get them all into the uh, extractor. Alright, so I've emptied all the honey. This is what the uh, empty honeycomb looks like. It's very light now. So that's my uh, first box of the season. First time I got a box so early in the season, so I'm pretty happy. But yeah, so one box. I'll show you what it gives me. Come up into the extractor. I don't know how well you can see it. 
It's a nice gold in color too. The clover's only blooming now, so this honey <coughs> was from my earlier flowerings, dandelion and other wildflowers. The clover's almost uh you know completely colorless, so it's nice to have some golden honey. Yeah, got quite a bit. It's uh, I don't know if you can see the spout down there. But it's up over the spout, so that means I can pour some out. No too much difficulty. Yeah, so uh, it's got the honey gate here. I don't know if I can get it in the, in the frame or whatever. And then I'm just going to run that through. I have uh, two screens. It's terrible lighting. One's a little finer than the other. This will catch all the bee parts. The wings and legs and dead bees and whatever else. Chunks of wax and such. Okay, it's not going to strain out or filter out any of the uh, you know, ultra fine wax or the pollen or any of the nutritional benefits. So essentially it's still going to be raw unfiltered honey. It just doesn't have all the uh, dead bees and big chunks of wax from me uncapping the frames. So yeah, let's open it up. And there we go, the first flow of 2023. Looks like it's going to be a good season. It was nice, rich, golden honey. Beautiful, beautiful color. So yeah, so from here, it's going to strain out any uh, dead bees, which I don't think they're already in there. It's all pretty clean. It's just cell cappings. So just chunks of wax. Otherwise, it'd be like uh, eating, uh, you know, chunky peanut butter or something, right? You'd have two different. You'd have the nice honey and then you'd have big chunks of beeswax. Not so pleasant. And all honey, all honey is uh, filtered like this. Which is still, as I said, considered unfiltered honey. Right? This is raw unfiltered honey. I don't feed my bee sugar. I don't use any uh, chemicals to treat for any of the pests. Right? They get no antibiotics. And I live in an area with no uh, spray agriculture. Right? And there's some cattle and some smaller uh, homestead style residential areas. So maybe whatever people spray in their gardens and such. But you know, it's as organic and natural as I can make it. But yeah, just a look at the honey. Pulls up there. I don't know how much I'll get out of the one box. It was a pretty heavy box. And there was a, it was an eight frame box. I had spacers in there, so only eight frames fit. So the, uh, the wax cells on the frames are larger than they would be in a ten frame box. So theoretically, you get a little bit more honey per frame. But then again, you get less frames. Less work, too, though. But it's, uh, yeah, working well so far. And there you have it. 2023 Golden Honey on the go. Just got to ball some up for everyone to enjoy. But, yeah. Until next time, hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whenever you watch this. If you've enjoyed the video at all, about entertaining or useful or whatever, yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace.